Hello and welcome to Story of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town. In this video, I will be showing you a few easy gifting ideas and favorite items of all marriage candidates that are born in autumn and in winter. If you have missed part 1 of all gifting ideas for the spring and summer candidates, maybe you could check out my first video that I've uploaded just before, in case your favorite characters are not included in this video. Also, as I have mentioned before, birthday gifts will give you twice as many heart points with your desired candidate compared to gift giving on any regular day. So, this time too, it is always best to get your hands on each candidate's favorite items, especially on their birthday. Keep in mind, these ideas are not the only options you will have, just simply the ones that I personally picked because they work just fine for me. But without further ado, let's dive right in and start with the autumn candidate's preferences. Bridget. Her birthday is on the 3rd of autumn and her favorite gift is the jewelry ring. You will unlock its recipe already at communication level 2 and you will need 5 silver ingots and 1 ruby to craft it. Silver is super easy to get your hands on since you can already find it in the first mine. And from the second mine on, its spawning probability is even higher. As for ruby, you can find it on very low levels in the second mine and of course later in the third mine. But for me personally, this one was a bit trickier to find in the beginning. So my recommendation is actually to honestly just buy the jewelry ring at the general store instead. It will be sold there right from the start. And yes, it will consume a lot of your savings, especially in the beginning, so that you probably can't buy Bridget a ring every single day starting from your first spring day. But finding Ruby will cost you time instead, so in the end it is your choice to make whether to lose money or time. Bridget also likes the flower Nemophila. Its seeds are available right from the start in spring, so make sure to grow a lot of them as long as you can. Nemophila will only take 4 days to bloom, but you can of course also just buy them at the flower shop during spring. In other seasons, I would recommend you to check out the Earth Sprite shop frequently since out of season flowers and vegetables are often randomly sold there. So if it's not spring flower season, maybe have processed sheep wool cloth ready for her, since she likes this as much as Nemophila flowers, and it's easy to make no matter which season, if you have sheep, of course. Blair. Her birthday is on the 25th of autumn and her favorite item is the fancy bangle or fancy bracelet. Its recipe usually unlocks at communication level 7 and it requires 15 silver ingots and 1 emerald. But and the chance that you're going to find this accessory elsewhere before obtaining an emerald is very high. So if you ship this fancy bangle once, you can always just buy it at the general store over and over again if you prefer that instead. Blair also likes tea. So as I already mentioned in my first video, tea is super easy to make since you can buy tea leaves at the grocery store right from the beginning. And since it's a cooking level 1 recipe, you will also be able to make it very early on. Taking into account though that you will need to get your own kitchen first by upgrading from a tent to a log house. Damon. His birthday is on the 15th of winter and his absolute favorite gift is coffee. It is a level 5 cooking recipe and you will need to grow coffee beans first and then process them with the maker that will unlock at farming level 4. So better always make sure to cook a lot frequently and also keep growing crops in order to raise your cooking and farming level quickly. Coffee tree seedlings are available for purchase in spring and it will take 15 days until you can harvest coffee beans. While you wait for your coffee to grow, maybe you will be lucky and come across a fancy bracelet instead. Damon loves it just as much as coffee and you will always be able to buy it at the general store if you shipped one of these before. Damon also likes processed alpaca wool cloth, but that might also take you a while to get your hands on since you will get your first chance to take care of an alpaca as soon as you reach the third farm area. But from then on you can proceed to keep buying more alpacas from the animal store and stock up on alpaca wool that you can first process into wool thread and then make the wool thread into alpaca wool cloth. 
Keep in mind you will also need farming level 5 to craft the maker needed for this. You can also find black pansies in the third farm area. Damon likes them as much as alpaca wool cloth and if you ship one of these flowers, you can buy their seeds at the flower shop and are able to pick your own black pansies after 6 days of planting their seeds. But don't forget that black pansies are spring flowers only, so alpaca wool cloth might be your safest choice to be able to have a gift for Damon ready all year round. Yeri his birthday is on the 28th of winter and his favorite item is the Matsutake Mushroom. It will be unlocked quite late as you need to reach Mushroom Farming level 9. But as you are getting there, you can try Yuri's second favorite gift, the Shiitake Mushroom. So as soon as you unlock the second farm area, I would suggest to not only keep growing Shiitake on that one single log, Instead, go as far as to buy a couple of these mushroom logs at the carpenter. This way, you can continue to grow Iori's second favorite mushroom for him while leveling up to unlock his absolute favorite, the Matsutake. I consider this method and marriage candidate to be one of the easiest ones since mushrooms can grow all year round and you don't need to pay attention to the change of seasons nor do you need any additional ingredients. These have been my gifting ideas for all marriage candidates that are born in autumn and in winter. And again, if your favorite character wasn't covered in this video, please check out my first video in which I covered all marriage candidates that are born in spring and in summer. I'm also open for your feedback, so feel free to let me know how it's going for you and if you managed to get closer to your desired candidate already. I'm always curious to hear about your own game experience. Also, if you found this video helpful, please leave a like or tell me in the comment. And of course, and consider subscribing too if you like my Story of Seasons content so far, because there is definitely more to come in future. I'd be really happy to have you join this little cozy Story of Seasons community and I'm always looking forward to hearing from you guys. So maybe see you in the next video.